this whole logic, this economic logic, has moved way beyond the online tar targeted advertising market. It's now spread across every economic sector. The insurance industry, the entertainment industry, the finance industry. Right now we have the CEO, to, a CEO of Ford Motor Company. And this is very interesting, of course, because Ford is the, you know, the birthplace of mass production, the place where products were essentially discovered for the modern world of consumption. Now the CEO of Ford facing slumping international sales that aren't gonna come back anytime soon. He's saying, gee, we want those uh, profit earnings ratios that look like Google and Facebook. How come they've got all that money and we, we can't even uh, flog our cars anymore? What we're gonna do is we're gonna reconceptualize all these vehicles with the little blue ovals that say Ford. We have 100 million people in those vehicles. We're gonna get the data from those people. We're gonna get their data. And these vehicles are gonna become like little surveillance bubbles. And we're gonna put those data together with all the data we have from Ford Credit. Because he says, we know everything about you. We know what you do, where you go. We know about your house. We know about all your other expenses. We know everything about you. We know your history. We know about your marriage. We know everything about you. So we put in the streaming data from the vehicles together with all the information we have from Ford Credit. We know more about you than practically anyone. Certainly more than Tesla. Forget about Tesla. We know as much about you. We're competitive with Google and Facebook. And we're going after those profit margins. So it began in 2001 with online targeted advertising. It is now everywhere becoming the dominant form of capitalism in our time. As all these folks who can't get margins in their industries are coming here to surveillance capitalism for the holy grail.